What's up, Power Rappers? Welcome back. This is Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching. Today's video was inspired by a comment left by a gentleman named George Winters. So George, thanks for the inspiration for this video. George's comment on one of my other videos that uses an Excel workbook for Power Apps data source was essentially, hey, if I've got a Power App and it uses an Excel workbook for a data source, how can I determine where that Excel workbook is located? And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure that out. Let's get started. All right, so as I mentioned, thanks again, George, for leaving this comment. Here's George's comment. It says, hi, Todd, thanks for the informative video. I've used Excel as a data source for Power Apps, and it's very cool. But there isn't a way to determine the source workbook for an existing Power Apps data connection, is there? Well, George, as you already know, if you're watching this video, there certainly is, and I'm about to show you how to do it. So here's how we can go about it. First, go to your Power App. And what I bet you already tried was opening up a Power App like this one that uses Excel to store its data and clicking View and then selecting Data Sources. And then when you do that, inside of here, you will see the connection or connections, like in this case, that references OneDrive for Business where your Excel workbook is stored. So if we click on this, well, I can't get any clues here where that's located. What if I go to the file menu and pick connections? Here, I can see all the connections this Power App is actually uh, in, in my environment here, and I can search for that OneDrive for Business connection. Here it is. And I can click on that and switch account. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to delete it. Maybe under details I can find it. Nope, not here. I can see which apps are using it, though. And this is the app that... I have open right here, but it doesn't really, if I click on it here, you can see I've got some more information here. I can see the versions of this connector, the different connections it's making. But if I click that, as you can see, it just brings me right back here. So there's really no way in this part of the user interface to determine where's that Excel workbook. So one thing you can do though, is you can come back to the Power App and pick File, Save As, and say this computer, and then download that file. And so now you're going to have this MS App file right here. And after you've downloaded this file, you double click it and you open it up. And in my case, I use the program called WinRAR to process zip archives. You could use WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever you like. Uh, but basically that MS app file is a zip file. So uh, you could even rename it .zip at the end of the extension and then open it in the out of the box uh, zip archiving tool that comes with Windows. Whatever the case is, after you get it open, the next thing you want to do is you want to dig into this references folder and then you want to open up datasources.json. And so I'm going to open that up here, and it looks like quite a mess. So I'm going to format this as JSON, and now it's a lot easier to read. And so now that I've got it in this format, what I want to do is I want to search for the string OneDrive. And that's going to get me the information I need to determine where this Power App is storing the Excel workbook that it uses as a data source. The key is this value right here, x-ms-media-default-folder-path. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? So here, this basically, that slash right there is referring to the root of your OneDrive. So this is telling me that if I go to OneDrive and I look in the folder called Power Apps Templates, and then the folder with this name here that starts ACCD, that is the folder where I am going to find that Excel workbook. So let's go actually take a look at that folder. And I've already opened it here to make it quicker. So here you can see files in my OneDrive, Power Apps folder, templates, 
there is that folder that starts with the ACC D05 right there. And here we go. This is actually the Excel workbook that drives my power up. So if I open up this Excel workbook, you will see that there's two data sources in here, one for the shout outs and one for the likes that my power app uses. So this one here is the power uh, shout outs data source. If I go to data, uh, where is it inside of this user interface? Kind of hard to find. I'm, I'm looking for the name of what this data table is called. It's so easy to find in the web interface, or I mean in the client side interface, but I can't find it here. Uh, whatever the case may be, this is where the shout outs are stored. And this is how many times someone has liked a shout out. And that correlates if we come back into the Power App to this shout out data source and the likes data source. So to recap, the key is opening up the MS app file in a zip archive tool, digging into the data sources.json file, and then locating under this particular values path, the path right there that will take you to the uh, Excel workbook for your Power App. So I hope this came in very helpful for you, George, and anybody else who's doing it. So thanks a lot for watching the channel. I really appreciate it and keep those questions coming. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again for watching. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with somebody else. You know what? I work with people I meet all the time from these YouTube videos. Do you need help with your power apps? Reach out to me at canvas.com. We can help you out. Finally, if you'd like to watch more videos about power apps, check them out down below. Have a good one.